when you're dealing with concrete block, you really do need to be very, very precise about how you lay out your base course, your position of the wall, and you got to get everything, uh, you know, very compact underneath it so that there's no movement. Well, this is the same way, except that when you're trying to level everything out, if you've got an 80 pound block and it's just a little high and you've got to pull it back out of the trench and, and move your, uh, your base fill and compact some more, that can get laborious, you know? But if you've got a two and a half pound block, you just pick it up, move it out of the way, or in this case, because the bottom is, uh, is open or skeletonized, like I like to call it, if you put a couple of inches of sand on the top of your, uh, your structural footing area, you set this down and you can tap it in and shake it in and the sand will come up through the bottom and let you adjust it. And then the sand gives you a frictional grip on this block so that it's, it's not going anywhere as you start to stack and backfill, which is also nice. So it does lay a base course just like the concrete blocks. It just does it faster and simpler without uh, breaking anybody's back.